It's time we answer a question on your stock in a little segment we like to call Your Stock, Our Take. Buy, sell, or hold. So it was Nouveau Pharmaceuticals. Now it's Moravo Healthcare as of December 18th. And the ticker symbol is MRV on the TSX. So it's currently trading at a price of around $1.06 and has a market cap of about $10.4 million. Moravo Healthcare is a Canadian healthcare company uh, with 25 products that target areas including pain, allergy, and dermatology starting from the last quarter, which was Q3 of 2020. Moravo's 12 trailing month revenue growth was about 40%, which is solid. And adjusted earnings per share was around 75 cents per share in the last 12 months compared to a loss of 94 cents uh, for the same 12 months last year, and as well adjusted EBITDA of approximately 31 million for the last 12 months. Uh, So operationally, the company does look positive. Now, looking at the growth opportunities going forward, one of its primary drugs, Blexton, is gaining market share against its main competitor in the space, which is positive, gaining about 16% of the market since its launch in uh, 2017, and this trend is continuing. Uh, as well as Moravo's manufacturing facility is at about 25% capacity, which could support future growth. Uh, and the company can still outlicense many of its drugs around the world. So there's opportunities there. Um, but you know, if one were to be considering an investment in Moravo, it would be crucial to get an idea and a full thorough landscape uh, of the licensing deals uh, and for how long uh, you know, these licensing deals are expected. Uh, to to go. Moravo looks very interesting, although debt might be getting to the higher side of things. Uh, the business has shown good revenue growth over the past 12 months, has posted positive adjusted earnings, and trades at a reasonable enterprise value to EBITDA multiple. It's definitely a company that I'll be keeping my eye on and possibly digging into a little further to get a thorough understanding of the business and uh, the drugs that they sell.